Hey there, let's run through just a quick explanation on some GMB insights that you guys will be seeing in your local Viking account. So, very simply driving directions, those are people that go to your listing and request driving directions. Very <laughs> simple and straightforward. Uh, again, phone calls. Now, obviously, you know, Google Google's only tracking the click of the button here. So someone's on mobile and they hit call. Um, that's it. So that's not guaranteed to be a converted phone call. Someone could click the button and then back out, but that's how that's measured. Visits on website. Again, very self-explanatory. Um, local post actions, call to action. So those are people that are following your call to action on your uh, local posts, your local post views search. So how how's the visibility? Again, this this is impression based. A lot of this stuff is going to be impression based. Um, customer photos count. How many photos have your customers uploaded? Merchant photos count. How many photos have you as or you know the manager of the business or the business owner uploaded? And then customer photos views. Again, how many of your customers' photos are being viewed? How many of your photos are being viewed? This is obviously views, impressions. Direct queries. This is someone searching the brand or location of the business. So, you know, this is what you would attribute, like, uh, brand ubiquity or the strength of your brand or... Um, other type of brand-based marketing where people might see a billboard or hear a radio ad or something and Google the brand name or, you know, something like that. Indirect queries, um, this is where people are searching your, um, you know, roofer in your area or, you know, a restaurant near me. It's uh, categorical-based searches, and this is where you can attribute this is where you're mostly attributing like your SEO and you know your, your digital stuff there uh, where you're basically increasing your visibility for those type of queries and this is again is impression based you're being seen for these queries chain queries um, this is if someone you're, you're being found through um, the parent chain so for example if you run a Starbucks or you're managing um, a Starbucks location and people are searching Starbucks in uh, your city or Starbucks near me stuff like that um, it's going to attribute the search to the chain right it's going to identify the fact that people are using the chain to find you and this is really cool if you do any type of work with franchises because it allows you to really differentiate now starbucks is that's a very <laughs> that that's that's a big one that's a very big brand obviously but as you get into some of the smaller franchises you know um, a good example would be just going back to starbucks the difference between someone saying starbucks near me or like coffee shop near me right or coffee near me or whatever and you can kind of attribute uh marketing and visibility you know back to your seo and kind of differentiate that from just chain exposure um listing on maps this is where you know you're literally getting impressions from maps.google.com right how are you being seen there listing on search is again through the google search and this also in includes the uh the local finder, please ignore this. This is literally just an undocumented piece of data that Google spits back. We're getting rid of this. But um, yeah, so there's a quick explanation on the insights that you're going to see inside your dash. Thanks, guys.